Let's get some broader analysis from Mark Perini, a visiting scholar at the Carnegie Think Tank. Mr. Perini, thank you for joining us here on France 24. Uh, we've seen attacks like this in the UK, Belgium, Germany, and France. Why do you think Spain was targeted? Well, I think the methodology used by the Islamic State is pretty clear. Uh, there is an objective to destabilize uh, our societies, uh, our lifestyle, our youth, and therefore all the major cities and the cities with um, the capital cities plus uh, those with a, a, a vast uh, tourism industry are, are the targets. What is also uh, interesting in Spain, as we hear and as the inquiry is developing, is that clearly uh, the Islamic State is following the methodology that they explain very clearly in a fatwa of uh, September 2014. When they have the opportunity, they'll use high-tech means, that is explosives, if not Kalashnikovs, and if not anything else, a stone, a, a car, a van, or, or a knife. And this is what we're seeing. Uh, so we shouldn't be surprised. Uh, of course, Spain has been spared in a way, but these uh, networks operate in a very opportunistic way. And, of course, at the same time, as the Islamic State is losing ground in Syria and Iraq, of course, uh, their networks in Europe are going to be activated, and we're going to see more of this. So we have to adjust to these uh, two main uh, principles. Perhaps no surprise, but as you mentioned, with the Islamic State group losing territory and some of the European nationals who went to fight for the group, as they come back to Europe, European countries, what steps can intelligence agencies do to tr try to prevent such attacks? Well, I think we, we have at European level two, two different steps. One is a very uh, thorough reinforcement of uh, intelligence and counterterrorism activities coordination. That is happening. Uh, on a state-to-state -state basis, France with Germany, France with uh, Spain, etc. Uh, but a lot more could be done at European level. And, of course, the culture of intelligence services, the, which is a culture of secret, obviously, um, is running against that. But uh, we have to remember that the Islamic State is, has no boundaries. Remember the Berlin attack on the Christmas market, the, the man who drove the truck into the crowd, uh, was able to roam for several days all across Europe before being arrested in northern Italy. Uh, so we we have to to react a, a lot more. The other uh, and and that includes counterterrorism, uh, police coordination, and so on, but also the judiciary. We we do have uh, a European warrant system, but we don't have a European counterterrorism prosecutor, and that is an important gap. The other element is at local level. Uh, you see the Ramblas were not protected. This is not in our culture. This is an open city. Um, tens of thousands of people walk uh, along the Ramblas every day. And of course, the authorities are reluctant to protect, put barriers, put things. Look at Nice. Nice is only now equipped one year, more than one year after this massacre on 14th of July, mm -hmm. uh, 2016, with barriers, cables, and so on. Mm -hmm. So this, of course, runs against our culture, but uh, we have to rethink uh, urban security. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Mark Perini, a researcher from Carnegie Think Tank. Thank you. Finnish police.